Howdy guys, it's the Investment Guru here. Today we'll be using an impermanent calculator for the Fire slash AVAX Super Yield Farm. I'd like to give a full credit to the true genius Stefan from the Calculator Guys channel. He makes incredible calculators to help simplify mass equations. As I said, genius. Anyways, his links will be in the description, but I'd like to show that the Phoenix community specifically, just in case you're still unsure, or to help put your mind at ease. So, here we've got the impermanent loss calculator. As I said, the calculator guy put this together, uh, but it basically it works for all liquidity pairs. So, first things is first, we're gonna change the token one to, you can see it's up here phantom, but we're gonna change it to AVAX. So that's your first token. And your second token, you wanna change to FI. So, I don't know why AVAX disappears, but you can, if you click on it, you can see AVAX is up here, and FIRE is up here, and it's actually set here. So, first off, initial price of AVAX. So, we just got to work out what the initial price, I've got it written down here, which is uh, 83 at the time of recording. And we'll do the 10 cents. Uh, and so, actually, we'll just keep it simple, and we'll do 83. So, an initial price of fire is that 656 so here comes a little bit tricky but he's made it really easy for you so let's say we're going to do an example of just 10 AVAX so roughly about 800 uh, to 1000 dollar mark um, initial quantity so we're going to half that right because that's how it works liquidity pool you need 50-50 um, uh, in terms of value of each asset so if you've got 10 AVAX split in half you got five, and the other five will go to uh, buy and fire. So if you come down here, recommended fire amount based on AVAX initial. So we've initially had five, which was half year 10, and then we just put 0 0.63 here. Uh, so if we, for example, if that was 10, you'd put 1.27 here. But yeah, we're doing five, and then 0 0.63 obviously equals five AVAX as well. So that's your 10 AVAX. So then you get your total value here, which is $828. And APR is actually 1,124 at the time of recording. So that's huge. Um, and you'll see why that's important in a sec. So this is where it comes in. So impermanent loss. So I'll get into what impermanent loss is, but we'll go through this example. And then, yeah, you'll, you'll understand. Well, you should understand anyway. Um, so future price of AVAX. So we're going to go through five examples. Um, first being AVAX rises and fire price stays the same. So let's go here. So fire price is the same. So we can do that quickly. 656. So this is the future price, obviously, future values. Um, and then your future price of AVAX, um, as we've said, has risen 30%. So 30% on 83 is 107. Point nine. So I've just done that um, calculation before the video, but if you were interested in doing that, uh, all you'd have to do is say if you wanted to work out uh, the value if AVAC rises uh, 80%, you'd just simply times your initial price times by 1.8. So it's your initial price, which is the 1, and then 0.8 is your 80% rise. And yeah, so you'd find this is just 1.3 times 83, which gives you your 30% rise. So moving on, future date. So let's just say we've held it for a month. So we've got this, yes, today's date um, in Australia. Uh, we're going to go one month forward. So that's, uh, yeah. So it's, it's in opposite because of American. So <laughs> typical Australian struggles. So we've got 13 of the second and then we've got 13 of the third 22 All right. so this is uh, an example for if you held it through one month at a 30% rise of AVAX this will get quicker guys but yeah this is the first example AVAX if held blah 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 fire if held um, and then that's your total so that's how much value you would have if you just held the asset uh, without actually staking it 
uh, in the pool. So pretty much your gain is just your AVEX gain. Uh, so that's just yeah, purely if you held fire fire and you held 0.63 fire without putting it into a liquidity pool. Your permanent loss is negative 8.40. Interest earned is 825. So your total value plus interest is $1,769. So that's assuming that the APR stays at the same, which it won't. Uh, it will continue to decrease, but that gives you a rough idea um, how powerful such high APRs are in such short times. Um, yeah, so that's, that's your first example. So now we'll, we'll cover what does this actually mean? So your impermanent loss, put it simply, Real simply, so the whole concept, the mass behind impermanent loss is actually pretty difficult to understand. And, you know, people make it out like it's very easy and they give you a link to a video and they just go, yeah, this is this is it. But 90% of them actually probably don't know how to explain impermanent loss because it's not easy. It's, it's something that um, has got to do with multiple things, uh, especially if you've got two different pairs. You know, you've got automated market makers without getting too complex to keep the liquidity pool um, equal. Uh, so that's another video. I'm not going to go too in depth with it. But put it simply, it's the loss of potential returns by simply holding the asset instead of pr providing liquidity. So generally the interest slash APY that's earned would uh, greatly um, yeah, outweigh um, the movement of impairment loss. So. With that being said, it's simply as this, okay? So, total of held, if I just held the 5 AVAX and 0.63, I'd have $952, simply because AVAX has risen 30% and fire has stayed the same. But, in that same month, so that's in a month period, right? In that same month, if I had it uh, staked in the liquidity pool, I would have lost $8.00 and 40 if I didn't earn anything on top but because I've earned so I would have lost $8.40 um, if I sold without making any returns on what I uh, put up as liquidity but because I've interest earned is 99.68% so I've nearly doubled what my initial investment was you've obviously made a lot more and so your difference versus holding is $817. So you, you profited $817 from not holding and, and uh, providing liquidity to the pool. That's great, right? Um, but you've lost the $8.40 from impermanent loss. That's all it is, guys. Like, it's really, it's not too hard to understand, and especially once you've got this calculated, like, don't get too stuck up on trying to understand the mass behind it because that's simply all it is. Look, use this calculator, run some numbers and understand um, what will happen if price rises, what will happen if price falls and stay um, constantly up to date and making your own decisions on where you should go from there. So, in permanent loss, negative $8.40. Wrong symbol. So we'll get, we'll go a bit quicker now, guys, and get from. But I hope that really clears up the basic concepts of it. Uh, so value difference compared with holding is eight hundred and seventeen dollars. Eight hundred and seventeen dollars. Uh, I'll just add a dollar sign just to keep it clear. Okay. So AVEX price stays the same. So AVEX price stays the same. What are we going to do? We're going to make it 83. So that's what the price is now. And the AVAX price is going to stay the same in a month's time. But fire is going to fall this time. And it's going to fall by 50%. So that brings us to $328. So in this scenario, right, we've got an impermanent loss of 1.06%. So it's quite bigger. Right? And this might go, oh, no. You know, that's... People will panic because they've lost money. 
Uh, but that's actually not the case when you consider what actually uh, what interest you've earned in that same time period. So although you've lost thirty five point nine six uh, from not holding, and but you've earned on top of that five hundred twelve interest. So then your difference between holding is that you've actually gained four hundred seventy six dollars. Um, then if you just held, as I said, the five tokens and the zero uh, five AVAX and the point six three fire. If you just held that, you would have made thirty-five dollars and ninety-six cents more, but you would have would not have earned any interest. So the interest outweighs the losses, if that makes sense. Um, so obviously you can get to a point of no return when the APR has dropped so far that um, yeah, you you will actually go in the negative. But because the APR is so high, it's quite low risk, uh, in my opinion, at the moment. All right, <coughs> next scenario. AVAX rises, goes up, and fire falls. Okay, so uh, AVAX rises 35%, so that brings AVAX up to 112, and fire goes down uh, 25%, so that brings Fire two five two four. Five two four. Okay. So now scenario we've got negative negative thirty. Thirty dot oh four from the imper um, permanent loss. Get rid of that one. Ah, sorry guys, bear with me. There we go, and then Value difference compared with holding is seven hundred and twenty-two dollars. So because of the interest earned, uh, it outweighs the impermanent loss greatly, obviously. Because obviously seven hundred and twenty-two dollars is a lot more than your thirty-dollar loss, and that's because of the such high interest. Yeah, sorry if I'm being repetitive, but I'd like to just drill the point in just in case you guys. You know, uh, as green as it, I was, you know, two days ago. So, um, yeah, now another scenario AVAX falls 25%, so it brings it down to 62 And fire actually falls as well. So, what happens when they both fall? Alright, so interesting. What have we got? So, you impermanent loss. Is actually only 40 cents. Not much, but they've both fallen. What's happened? I don't know. But the value, well, you still earn 524. So in this scenario, you've earned more than when AVAX price stayed the same, but fire fell 50%. For both assets have fallen, 25% and 35%, but you've still earned more than that one asset falling 50%. Alright, and your next one, so this is if we're in a bullish market, uh, markets start turning green over, over the next month, this is what you can expect. So, AVAX for, uh, rises 120%, so that doesn't even put it back at, oh, it actually puts it over the recent highs so uh, yeah that's if we're back into a bullish market and this is the scenario so it puts us at 182.60 and fire rises 50 percent which would be awesome but yeah as, as i said these are hypothetical um, so we can see what's happened here so the total of held would be 1.5k from your original 800 dollars awesome uh, but because you've had it staked and earning interest, the interest now is huge, uh, and you're actually earned, so we've had an impairment loss of 28.28. Uh, it always gets me every time. And then value difference compared with holding is $1,287. So you can see 
what the ideal scenario is. So, um, obviously, you want them both to rise, and you'll still, even though you're in a liquidity pool, you'll still get those gains. So, I think some people might think um, impermanent loss might affect you if you know if uh, prices start rising dramatically. Uh, but you can see in this case, if they both rise simultaneously, uh, it's great for both everyone. So, uh, but you can, on the other hand, you can see if some one asset falls so far and the other stays the same, you won't earn as much. But in every single scenario here, um, and we've got pretty dramatic scenarios, we've stayed in profit. But you can see here, if APY does go down, let's say six hundred percent. Uh, you've earned 673 instead of the 1287 that's if APY goes down uh, so they'd, they'd need to add another I think it's roughly total value is about 700,000 so they'll need another $350,000 to be added to the pool which over a month is very likely but you can just see the power and the potential of this and that scenario is only with $1,000 so you can uh, start with a low amounts without having to initially fork out so much for a nest and uh, if you're worried about having to put those funds away for 44 days and you're uncertain about market conditions this could be the perfect way for you to start accumulating fire and get uh, you know your first steps towards a nest um, yeah so I'm sorry you know <laughs> this is really new concept to me as well um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, uh, I hope I got it out as clear as possible. Um, yeah, this is really for the Phoenix Fire community. Uh, I love what you guys are building. Shout out to Jordan. Shout out to Eric. Shout out to Luke. You guys are doing incredible. And the mods, man. Wow. I, yeah, you're all over it. Like every single thing I see in the uh, chat is constantly answered. And I think people have ran out of questions. To be honest, like. Um, that's why it's pretty quiet at the moment because you guys have been so clear with everything that nothing needs to be covered. Uh, so I think it's awesome. Keep it up. And yeah, I'm really excited for what comes in the future, guys. So thank you.